What's up guys, Benny13 here, back to explain my Demon Hunters Natalia set build. Now basically with Natalia set, your primary damage dealer or your primary number one most important skill is Reign of Vengeance. And we'll go into our skills right now and you'll see what I mean. Number one, you'd want Invasive Fire with Focus for your Hatred Regeneration. Strafe with Rocket Storm for some extra damage. Preparation with Focused Mind for Discipline Regeneration. Smokescreen with a Displacement. This is very important. Basically, this is your lifesaver. This gets you out of your sticky situations and you've got a bit of time to avoid all damage taken. Get somewhere safe and keep casting all of your skills. Companion with Wolf Companion for extra damage. Time this well against elite packs and bosses or if you're in a bit of trouble for extra damage. And Reign of Vengeance, your number one primary skill with Stampede for extra damage and knockback damage. Yeah, we we'll go into passives. We want steady aim, basically increased damage if there are no enemies within 10 yards. Ambush for additional damage or 40% additional damage to enemies above 75% health. Awareness is your lifesaver, so if you take fatal damage, you will vanish for two seconds and regen half your health. And Cull of the Weak for damage against slowed enemies. Now we'll move on to gear. Gear is absolutely very important, crucial. Although these items are 100% necessary, don't even think about swapping them out for anything. We'll start with our Natalia set pieces. We'll need helm, torso, gloves, legs, feet and Natalia's Slayer, which increases Reign of Vengeance damage up to 25%. As you can see, I've chosen to re-roll a stat and go with cooldown reduction of all skills. That's just me. You can go for extra damage. Again, it's personal preference. I prefer that cooldown reduction so I can cast Reign of Vengeance even more. Now, aside from your Natalia set pieces, we want Pauldrons of the Skeleton King. Basically, this acts as a second awareness. So if you receive fatal damage there is a chance that instead you will receive 25 percent health back so very very handy and will save your life i guarantee you in the amulet slot we've got the hellfire amulet basically keep rolling your hellfire amulet until you get a passive skill that you're happy with i'm happy with perfectionist because i get extra armor and some extra survivability strong arm brace is absolutely necessary basically extra damage for your enemies that are knocked back. So every time you cast Reign of Vengeance, enemies are knocked back and they will receive extra damage. And finally, Crashing Rain, very important. Reign of Vengeance also summons a Crashing Beast that deals 3,832 weapon damage. Incredible, huge damage there, guys. Uh, the rings we've gone with Focus and Restraint, obviously for the extra damage bonuses uh the gems we've gone with zay's stone of vengeance we've gone with bane of the trapped and we've gone with the taegook so with bane of the trapped and the color of the weak passive your templar basically will be running around not um, hitting enemies and slowing them in uh as a in addition to that obviously we'd, we'd want a weapon like the thunder fury to actually act as an, another stat to slow your enemies but what i've done is i'll take you over to the canoes cube i haven't got a thunder fury yet to equip on my templar as you can see but in canoes cube i've equipped the s of johan this is my little twist on this build basically chance to pull in all enemies towards your target and slow them by 80 percent so not only do you get all your enemies within that one area to cast that reign of vengeance and basically kill everybody but they also they're also slowed so as you're strafing Firing evasive fire and then spamming rain of vengeance. It's all extra damage on slow enemies. So Very handy uh, Personal preference for me may not work for you. So feel free to experiment If survivability is a big problem, I'd definitely put unity in this slot and also give your Templar unity I've gone with the syndicate here. Basically, I like the the buff of reducing the resource cost of strafe so I mean, it, it's it's not necessary. You can go with a damage buff if you if you prefer, but I just like having reduced resource cost. That's just me, personal preference. And I've also gone with Demon Machine, 65% chance to shoot explosive bolts when attacking, just for a bit of extra damage. All right. So that pretty much covers our gear, all of our skills. 
what else do we need to go through we'll go through paragon points if you're not on high paragon i'll show you what order you should be doing your paragon points get your movement speed up to 25 percent obviously and then just pump them into dexterity offense you want to start with cooldown reduction with this build very very important then we'll go into crit damage crit hit chance and finally attack speed defense definitely resist all armor life and then life regen last utility will go with area damage resource cost reduction and then life on hit and finally gold fine which isn't important at all um, I think I've pretty much covered everything I need to there basically what we want to do is as we're as we're holding down strife you want to use your evasive fire basically to basically to regen your hatred and then whenever we can we'll cast Rain of Vengeance and that'll pretty much obliterate anything in sight and obviously we want to stay as far away from en enemies as possible for those for those buffs Although that passive skill steady aim I believe it was all right so I think I've gone through everything pretty much there if there's anything you guys aren't sure about sh just uh, hit me up in the comments below um, I'm gonna leave a bit of a demonstration video give this guy some gameplay and yeah definitely definitely tune back again soon I might do some tweaks to this build um, otherwise I'll definitely be back and I'll come up with some new builds I'll also be experimenting with all the other sets that come with the demon hunter either way guys have a lot of fun and enjoy the gameplay video see you all again real soon prove yourself worthy still wait Wait.